Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to go over the last part to assignment number two in week two material. So assignment number two, you had to read this article, Seven Things New College Students Don't Know. You had to complete the annotation worksheet. You had to finish typing up the summary. And then now we're going to look at how to write the critical response. And I'm going to start the one for this article for you. So in this, you have these two um, you have this document that we're going to go over and here's an example of it and then you'll see the link here to this video as well as the example that we create during this video I will have here as well. Alright, so what is a critical response? So in the summary you had to talk about the author's point of view in the article. The critical response is you reflecting over what the article author said in that article. So now it's your turn to put in your two cents about what you agree or disagree with the author. So how do you write this critical response? There's a couple of different ways to approach this. You can find um, areas where you agree with the author, disagree, you want to qualify or extend an author's I idea. You want to give additional examples to, pri to provide further elaboration of the author's main idea. Describe other related issues that this article made you think about. Maybe compare what you used to think about this topic to what you think now. Maybe you have a change of mind now. Um, show the practical use or application of the author's main idea. Or then answer the question, what would happen if, to further possibilities. All right. So. Once you think about what you want to say, you're going to write um, a critical response. And let's take a look here at the example essay. This one's typed up. So this is a little bit longer than the summary. Okay, For you guys in this class, CCS 98, I'm going to have you only write three paragraphs. Okay, When you get into 99, I always add an additional fourth paragraph. But we're going to keep it simple with just three. Okay, so this, I mean, it's a page, maybe a little bit longer. Okay, so it's not super long. It's not a full essay that you're having to write. All right, so paragraph number one, you're going to introduce the article, and then you're going to include its thesis. Okay, so you're going to introduce um, the article by including the author's name along with the title of the article in quotation marks. Okay, so remember the summary, you had those citation, those four things for the citation. All right, this time, all you need for the critical response is just the title and the author's name. And so in that first paragraph, what you want to do is you want to explain what the author was saying overall in this article, and then pick one point from that article that you want to talk about. So in this article, she had seven different things that she talked about that students need to know how to do. Okay, So maybe this is something that you learned yourself. You didn't know to do this. You kind of screwed up on your own and it was a learning experience for you. Okay, So maybe you want to talk about one of those points or maybe you've seen it happen to another student or maybe you wished students knew this. Maybe it's something that you do but you've witnessed other students who don't do it and you wish they knew to do it. Okay, So any of those are possibilities. Okay. So in paragraph one, you're still not putting in your two cents yet, but you're going to introduce the article with its overall point, and you're going to talk, explain what the author's one point that you want to talk about. Okay. Paragraph number two. All right. This is where your two cents comes into play. Paragraph number two is you're going to state your personal connections. So an example from your own life. Um, something you've witnessed, something you've experienced. Maybe you want to talk about what you've read and other books, articles, newspapers, in social media, on TV, in movies, any of that is possible. So you want to connect to that point that you chose to talk about. And then finally, paragraph three, you're going to write a quick conclusion. Okay, make sure you revise and proofread this. So here's what that example looked like down here. But again, I typed it up into a Word document so you can look at how it, it, it sits, how you're going to present it. So again, your name, the class, the date, 
make sure you label this critical response. So let's take a look at theirs. So in paragraph one, remember we had to give the author and title of article and what the main point is that they wanted to talk about. So in the old man, so there's the article, all important words capitalized, quotation marks, Larry King tells the story of his adolescent rebellion against his father. He makes the point that he eventually realized that even though he and his father had different values, he still loved his father. When he was 18, he left his home in Midland, Texas and joined the army. On a visit home, however, he realized that he was very much connected to his father. He ends the piece by describing the touching moment he left his father when his furlough was over. I knew then that I loved him too and had, even in the worst of times, and would never stop. Okay, so again, there's nothing here about this writer's opinion yet. It's just about what that author has said. So he's pulling out this one point about this guy and his father that he wants to reflect upon. So here is where he talks about his own experience. I understand the author's rebellion against his father. When I was a teenager, I went through the same feelings with my own father. His main objective as a parent was to protect me, while my goal was to explore my options. For example, he didn't want me to leave my home state to go to graduate school. Earlier, he had not wanted me to take up the flute and join the band. Even during my senior year, he was always concerned lest I stay up too late studying. Like Larry, I eventually realized that even though we had our obvious differences, I had always loved him and would dread the time when I would be without him. So here, at the beginning, the author, the writer here says, I understand the author's point. Okay? So that's one way you can start that second paragraph. Or maybe you want to disagree with it. So you'll say, I disagree with this. Okay? And then here in this paragraph, you're going to explain your own experiences, your own opinion of why, and then connect it back to it at the end. And then finally, conclusion in your third paragraph, just very simple. Uh, based on my reading of autobiographical articles such as Larry King's and Richard Wright's, I think my own experience of rebellion is fairly typical of parent-child relationships. Even though the child rebels or chooses different values, the child usually comes to understand that the bond of love is strong. Okay? So that's a critical response. All right, here you get to respond to this, but you're going to do it in an organized way. So let's start our own for this article, the seven things, okay? So, here we're gonna have our name. Oops, oh, our settings changed. All right, remember, Calabria Times New Roman, font size 12, Does that okay, that stayed the same. All right, so here you're gonna put in your name, CCS 098, the date, and then this is our critical oops, response. All right, again, you don't have to do, um, you don't have to do um, uh, title or anything like that. All right, remember at the beginning of a paragraph, you indent using the tab key. All right, so th looking at this article of ours, what is something that we can talk about? Um, so she talked about you're not in charge in the classroom, do not play on your phone, never complain to a professor how busy you are, learn how to attach a file, a professor is not your administrative assistant, make an extra effort, become aware of unprecedented ideas. So I want to talk about making the extra effort, okay? But I've got to include the title and the author. So here's my page. So in the article, and here we have to go back title. The seven things students don't know that drive professors crazy by Shannon Reed. And then now we have to say what is the overall point that she was making? What was she doing in this article? So in this article, the author who has been a teacher for many years talks about w w the what she believes entering freshmen at college need to know in order to be successful. One of those 
seven things is talking about and because this is short and I'm not going to put it in my own words I'm going to put it in quotes so make an extra effort okay so one of those seven things is talking about making the extra effort when it comes to uh, communicating with professors and so in this paragraph um, she talks about visiting your professor during office hours do not particularly have any attention of asking your professor for commu uh, recommendation in the future things like that um, she goes on to say that professors can help you in the future by giving you a recommendation. They can do that when they have you as a student and they can get to know you. And I've done that with students as well. Students who I, I get to know I've written recommendation letters for. Okay, so there's my introduction. Okay, there's my first paragraph. I haven't put my two cents in yet. Now that comes in the next paragraph. So, um, I completely agree that students need to get to know their instructors, professors, teachers, whoever, um, because it can benefit them in the future. Okay. And then I'm going to talk about a time then when I was a college student and that helped me. Okay, because I went and got a recommendation letter when I was um, a senior, when I as an undergrad, and I got a recommendation letter from a professor I had um, for when I went in, into the graduate school to get my master's degree. So that is an experience that I can talk about there. And then, you know, based on reading this article along with my own personal experiences. Um, I can say that making the effort is definitely worth the time and expense. Okay, so conclusion, very simple. It can be a one sentence, that's fine. Make sure, again, in that introduction, you include the title of the article, um, the author's name, really explain what she's overall doing in this article and then what one of those points was that you want to talk about and then here in the second paragraph you go ahead and talk about it okay this is where your personal experience comes in you agree you disagree you want to explain what happened to you what you've seen in movies tv things like that okay so that is the critical response so you can start using this if you like. If you don't want to talk about this specific point, you can change it up and say, you know, instead of making an effort, maybe it's staying off your phone or whatever. Okay. So finish this up then, and it is due in the Dropbox on Cobra um, before 11:59 Friday, October 30th. The same with the summary for this article and the annotation worksheet. However. If you get those done early, always just go ahead and submit them as soon as possible. If you guys have any questions, please let me know and I'll talk to you later.